So I'm here with George, who's the managing director of BT Engineering. So George, you've come all the way over from Australia, I most certainly uh, not have. just to be here today, but you're doing no, a bit of a tour around. Yeah, so we've we've got some stock of saws in in the country, and we took the opportunity to bring one down to Steve and and show the boys how the, how it's done. So let's um, we'll, let's have a look around the saw then. So this is obviously for the bricklaying trade. Yep. Um, so what what are the features and benefits fits to this saw? So we've got. Um, we run a 14 inch diamond blade, um, so you can change it to your material. Mm. Um, harder bricks, softer blade, softer brick, harder blade, etc. Um, water dust suppression, so you're not clogging up site with brick dust and, yeah, yeah. and all of that stuff. Um, you've got mitre guide here, so you can set up to do your raking cuts for your gable ends. Then got a foot pedal for, for you know, almost remote control so you yep. don't need to have so you're not quite really close to it it's safe yeah. so you've got yep. your hands on the brick and on the back of the tray and you know you can concentrate on that while you put, press the blade down amazing so as well as this saw obviously within this within the shop you've got there's a big range of the BT engineering stuff do you think it's important to have the range there because I know one of the things that Steve is interested in is having you know a big ranges so people can come in and feel and touch and yeah. you know understand what type of thing they want yeah I think there's having the right tool for the right job is incredibly important mm. the amount of time that it saves anybody is vast so you know Steve stocks all of our kit and um, and you know so you can come down have a look at it see how it works and then take one home with you yeah. or two and hopefully you sell a few <laughs> coming all the way from yeah, Australia well that's it hopefully <laughs> and you know cutting bricks here in the UK is a bit different yeah um, but um, you know there's no reason you know save your back get better and more accurate cuts than doing it with a disc cutter mm. and you know you'd be, you'd be you know, ripping through bricks and no, and no, no time, no time. <laughs> amazing yeah. So Carl, we're here in the Eurofasten section of the shop. Uh, you and your family have owned and operated this business for over 50 years now. So do you think that it's important that it's coming back to the Granby? I think um, it's um, fantastic that um, Eurofasten is coming back to the Granby. Um, it's pretty much been a household um, name in Weymouth for, like you say, almost 50 years now. Um, it's been in my family for pretty much most of that. And uh, yeah, certainly, certainly, uh, uh, you know, a business um, that's been missed in Weymouth and it's great to see um, Stephen Reeve bring it back mm. and um, I'm sure most people appreciate it and have missed it over the past, past few years when um, we, we've not actually had a, a trade, trade count or such. Yeah and do you think it's quite good that they've, they're have they linking it so obviously you've got the Eurofasters and the SB tools almost as one entity? I think that's a great move I think uh, for a number of reasons I think mainly because the two businesses complement each other mm. um, basically Eurofasters customers you know always got demand for tools and you know, uh, SP Tools customers obviously, you know, obviously need, need fixings and fasteners. Because yeah. obviously, being around, you see people coming in just for the random stuff, don't they? So it's not things that they can find online so much. They want to come in and try out the buckets and see where things are. Fixers and is one of the things you, you, you don't know what you need. You know, you can need it there and day, there, there and on the day. Mm. You know, and there's such a, such a vast range as you can see in here that, that you have to carry. Yeah. You know, anyone could come in for anything at any time. Yeah. So Rob, SB Tools again, second year in a row, bigger premises, um, obviously we're caught up with what you're doing last year, what's been going on uh, between now and then? As you can see I've got a different van this time, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not in the car, so I've been out and about in this van, the, the Make It Visible van, I've yeah. uh, been up and down the country speaking, well up to date I've spoke to 10,000 tradespeople, Amazing. Or up, and, up and down the country, both in the UK and on Ireland. Yeah. Um, just letting them know about the services the Lighthouse provide, how they can help not only them but their immediate family. And then also I've been all over the place recording podcasts. Um, I'm actually doing less and less brick work now and more and more awareness work, which yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy down. about. Yeah, that's good, yeah. And so obviously you've been talking to a few of the people that come around uh, today and, and you know, just been, and you've just been picking up and chatting to them. It is, how do you think it's important just to get people off, you know, almost off the streets to talk about their, you know, their journeys and what they've been up to and what they've been doing? Yeah, definitely. It's that off the cuff, quick conversations that people have that can be the most impactful and the most powerful mm. because it could be a conversation that somebody down the pub or in the brew cabin at work or yeah. out on site somewhere. Those sort of conversations and people tend to 
hold back a bit sometimes, but mm. when you have these quick conversations, because you're not thinking about it and you've not premeditated the, the chat, you yeah. tend to be a bit more open and honest. Real, yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's important to come to these sort of events, these kind of trade shows, to, to spread the word? Yeah, absolutely, because you, you're capturing the people in a relaxed atmosphere because when you're at work sometimes as good as it is going and seeing these people at work here they're not they haven't got the work head on they don't yeah. have, they don't yeah. have to think that right I've got to get this this and this done today in my work I haven't got time to stand and talk to you but here they're mulling about they're looking at tools they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're having conversations with people and then you, you capture them there then so if you had a takeaway message uh, for obviously for Steve's video for people to come and talk to you what would it be the biggest thing is that it doesn't matter how big the problem is how dark the problem is, how much debt it is, how much um, drug taking or alcohol you're using, no matter how big or how bad the problem is, it always, always gets better. There's people out there like the Lighthouse that can support you and your immediate family with whatever it is you're going through and it doesn't matter if you think it's only a small problem in your world because they yeah. down the road has got this going on and that going on, it doesn't matter if it's in your world and it's, it's keeping you up at night or it's affecting the way you're doing things. It's a problem and you need to deal with it and it's never yeah. too early and it's never too late to reach out for help and support. Amazing. Well, thank you for supporting Steve again. No, not it's a problem. Thank you, Kevin. Cheers. So, Steve. Jamie. We're here again. SB Tools version 4 now. So, this is the fourth move. Is this... So, yeah. you've... Fifth. The fifth move. Yeah, if this is the fifth if move. include the shed, yeah. Okay, so we're on our open day. You've got, um, you've got a lot of suppliers come down to support you today, as you always do. But there's one twist now that you didn't have in any of the other shops. Would you like to tell us what that is? We've acquired a new business, which is called Jury Fasteners, which is sign is just up there. So and we're now supplying fixings to the trade and DIY. And why do you think that's a fit for SB Tools? Why is it good to have these two things under one roof? We've predominantly been an internet company for the last four years, and it's nice to get more customers through the door mm. and have physical sales in the shop rather than just internet sales. Yeah. So everyone's wondering, seeing as you've more or less made a move every year since you started, yeah. is this the last move now for a while? I'd like to say it is, but probably not. I think it should be, because I've just spoke to your wife, and she's told me if you move again, you're getting divorced. Uh, I'll stay where I am. <laughs> <laughs> anything, ever, anything further to say to the camera as we end the video uh, of SB Tools Open Day 2023? I'd like to thank everyone that's come. I'd like to thank... Uh, Mind Your Head Podcast, I'd like to thank uh, Brian Hyde who've come down with Stabilo and Leica, I'd like to thank Rick Jackets, Rollins who've brought down with Marshalltown, and Nesfing Bulldog, um, another supplier for Roughneck and DeWalt, uh, Bricky's buddy, massive thanks to Bricklay Social Club Ashley because he's brought down a load of people with him, all the customers who spent loads of money with us today. Uh, most important question, have you missed anyone? Probably. I'd like to thank you, Jamie. Oh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't doing that for that. For I was doing that because if you have missed anyone, it's awkward then, isn't it? Because yeah, you're yeah. going to get loads of abuse on social media. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think if I have actually missed anyone out. Um, oh, Blake's. Yeah, I see. Blake's, yeah, yeah. Rob from go. Blake's, he's turned up. BT Engineering, all the way from Australia. Yeah. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. Flown over and um, done a demo saw. We sold some saws, so we're doing all right. Brilliant. Thank you, Steve. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jamie. See you next year when you're a single man in a bigger <laughs> shop. <laughs>